Scam baiting using autocomplete. Yes, in this episode of Scam baiting, I'm only going to use Google Autocomplete, or more specifically, Smart Compose, which was a feature introduced to uh, Gmail a couple of uh, a couple of years ago, I believe. You can let Gmail help you write emails faster. The Smart Compose feature is powered by machine learning and will offer suggestions as you type. Not only does it offer you suggestions, it also offers you suggested replies to your emails, which you just have to click on. So anyway, last month I received this uh, email from Bernhard Berger Kellerhaus. Uh, if you've seen my other scam baiting, you may remember that name. In an episode I titled uh, Powerball with Pedro, he was the lawyer who I had to send all my details to. Anyway, as you can see here, attention, good day. This is just to inform you about your pending transfer. Please be reminded that we are still unable to complete your transfer to your bank account. We still need to hear from you regarding this issues related to required amount. As soon as you receive this email, let hear from you as soon as possible. Down the bottom here, you can see the automated replies. I decided to go with the middle one. Yes, I am still interested. He replied, Please be informed that your friend, so your funds will be available same time tomorrow. If you are able to pay the fee today, please below is the information you may need, blah blah blah. Secondly, you are to send half of the 330, which mean your fee is less, blah blah blah. He goes on and on about all this sort of stuff. Finally, with the Western Union, text question, who is great? Answer, God. Address, Regents Park, Johannesburg. Amount to be sent, nothing apparently. Please, whichever way, send me the proof of payment plus your banking details again. Thanks. And I go with the middle one again. Thank you. I will do that. Attention, good let me know when you will be able to send the fee. Please tell me on your next email as soon as you read this email. I'll go with this one this time. I have not received anything yet. Bernard replied, Pay the fee, you will receive your donation. This time I decided to reply with not just one of the uh, automated suggestions, but all of them. Thank you, I will do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Bernard didn't reply for a couple of days, so I decided to send another message. This time there were no suggestions, so I cheated just a little bit and started typing a sentence. The money is on… and then Google re uh, completed the sentence for me. The money is on its way to you. Full stop. And I sent that. Bernard replied, When we that be? When will that be, I guess? And down the bottom, as expected, there are the three recommendations. I decided to go with the middle one. What do you mean? Bernard replied, You can deposit bank account or Western Union or MoneyGram. All the needed information is stated below. Bank account details, blah blah blah. Again, the obligatory recommendations. This time I decide to reply to all three again. Thank you, I got it. Okay, I will let you know. Okay, I will do it. Bernard replied, Tell me when exactly can you do it? Again, the three obligatory replies, and again I reply to all three. Okay, I will let you know. No, I can't. What do you mean? Bernard replied again, Attention, quick reminder concerning your pending transfer. Please kindly read our previous email. All the needed requirements are written there. Please, with due respect, if you receive this massage, respond back. Yours faithfully. God bless. Again, three recommended replies, and again I reply with all three. I'm not interested. Who are you? Yes, I have received it. Bernard replied, a bit confused. You just said you are not interested. And again I reply using all of the three recommendations. I am not interested. No, I'm not. Yes, I am interested. Bernard getting a bit confused at this point. You are confusing me. Say what you want. But this time I decide to reply using all three recommendations in a single email. Who are you? What do you mean? Of course I do. Finally, Bernard just decided to reply to me using the original email with the claims identification number. Your confirmation email has been received. The United States Agency for International Developments, blah 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 blah. Furthermore, kindly make available the following details to enable us carry out a one-time authentica authentication on your donation funds, which is $4 million. Blah blah blah, they ask for some more information. And finally at the end, in big bold writing, contact the details below, send him your name, and he is waiting to hear from you because he already have your details, he give the go-ahead for transfer. Compose a new email and contact the email address below. 
contact Bernhard Berger Kellerhaus, email Fisher Law, and of course, I reply with a single line automated response. All good. Bernard, getting a bit frustrated at this point, replies, Read your email well. You we understand the meaning of the fee and I will advise you after where to send the fee to. And he explains the process again. And of course, I reply using multiple automated replies. Got it. Where is it? That sounds like a plan. Bernard, getting a bit frustrated again, sends two emails. You mean where can you send the fee to? Do you mean how can you send the fee? And of course, I reply with the obligatory, yes. Bernard replied, let us know how soon can you send the fee, if you have the information. Again, he sent another email. You can deposit bank account or Western Union or MoneyGram. All the needed information is stated below. And of course, I reply with a single one-line automated response. Okay, all done. How soon can you send the fee? Let me know on your next email. As a matter of fact, it's already sent. Bernard replied, if you send it, send me the proof of payment payment slip. The payment payment slip? So I replied, what do you mean? Bernard, you said the payment has been sent. If yes, send me the proof of payment. Again, spamming him with some automated responses. Did I say that? Okay, let's do it. I understand. This time he made a brand new email thread. Donation payout. Attention, good day. Transfer still pending. This is just to remind you. I again spammed him with automated responses. Received. Thank you. All good. Thank you for the reminder. But three responses wasn't enough, so I spammed him a bit more. Sounds good. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Okay, sounds good. Let me know. What do you think? What do you mean? Who are you? I'm not interested. I am interested. I'm no longer interested. Great. Thanks for letting me know. As you can see here, you can provide feedback to Google for any of their automated recommendations. So I decided to click on that. You're met with this screen here. Smart Compose Feedback. I'm not interested. Great. Thanks for letting me know. Great. Thanks. My suggestion isn't shown here. I decided to copy and paste this feedback form and send one final message to Bernhard. Hi Bernhard. Could you please provide some feedback regarding our recent Smart Conversation? All of my replies were created using Google Smart Compose. How did you find the service? Did it meet your scamming expectations? Would you use the service again? Could you please fill out the attached form so that we can help Google improve the service to make future conversations with scammers a lot easier? Best regards and talk to you soon. Anyway, that was my attempt at scam baiting using autocomplete. As you could tell, the uh, scammer got a little bit frustrated with all the one-line responses, but certainly it was a lot of fun from my end and was quite easy to do. It was certainly a lot easier than having to write complicated replies. All I had to do was click on an automated response. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, talk to you soon.